All right, what we're going to do here is take a look at the flippity random name picker, and I'm going to show you how to get images next to the students' names uh, when you use this. So I've already went to template and made a copy, um, and my copy looks like this. Right, and I put my name here, and I've already published this document. So you would go to file, publish to the web. I've already done that. Uh, what you could do, just a really simple way to do this, would go to, let's go to Google Images and search for a cat. All right, I could just copy the image URL of this cat, and so copy image address, and I could paste it in column B. And now when I go to the random name picker, all right, do that down here, you'll see a cat next to my name. Um, if I go to put myself in groups or to line up or something like that, there's that cat picture, all right, it's also over here as well. All right, so that's one way we can use this image column or photo column, column B. All right, another way we could use this, suppose we have another student in our class, and uh, you could do something with Bitmoji. All right, so if you click on your Bitmoji extension, which I have right here, I could right click on any of these pictures and go to copy image address and paste it. All right, now let me refresh my random name picker and you will see that there it is. All right, I could do groups of two, and there's the cat picture, and then there's that Bitmoji. All right, another way we could use this is with a Google drawing. All right, um, so here I have a Google drawing, um, and kids could use this to make a like a class avatar or something like that. And what they'll do is go to file, they'll publish their drawing to the web. And I, I already did this, so you hit publish. Copy this image URL. All right, so copy this URL to the published image. And then paste that in the spreadsheet. All right, now keep in mind, I didn't use this URL. I used the published drawing URL. All right, now when I update my Flippity here, you'll see that Lila has the same character on here. Keep in mind, kids can continue to update those photos and uh, change them however they want, and they would appear in the Flippity after a couple minutes. All right, a fourth way you could use the uh, image URL, let's call, let's do Piper, and I'm gonna add an extra column, and I'm gonna call this image row, all right? Uh, what I might do is if I'm going to share this, do, uh, this spreadsheet with students, I could right click on this column, actually maybe both of these, put my students' names in there already, and then protect the range so that kids can't edit these. And the only thing they could edit is this column C. And you'll see over here that on this third sheet that I made here called images, I have column A numbered from 1 to 33. And column B, I have these Mario characters. All right, and then in column C, this is the published, I took these images and put them into published Google drawings. So these are the published Google drawing URLs. And what a kid would do, um, I would lock these or protect these three columns so kids can't edit them, uh, protect that range. Kids would come here and say, you know what? I wanna be the coin. And so what they'll do is they'll put number one here to say they want row number one. And someone else might say, um, uh, you know what? I don't want to be the coin. I want to be uh, Birdo, uh, which is number seven there. All right. And these numbers would correspond to one of those pictures. What we'll do then in column B, let me get rid of these, we'll do a V lookup to say, hey, you know what? Find the number one and put the URL right here in column B. All right, so this is how you do this. Equals V lookup. And the first thing it's asking me for is the search key. So it's over here in column C. Search for the number one. And it's asking for the range. Well, where do you want me to search for it? I'm in columns A, B, and C. That's where I want you to search. When you find the number one, this is the index part. Once you find the number one, return the first, second, third row. I want you to return the third row, all right, and hit enter. So now, column one, when someone puts the image row here, they'll get that URL, all right? And you could just copy this, fill this down. 
Um, let's put in, I don't even know what these are, uh, 24 and 4. That's fine. All right, so that's just a simple V lookup. Um, and now if I go to the random name picker, and I'll go to lineup, the question box, coin, all right, and you can see those other Mario characters are there. All right, kids could then come back and they could change these. I could make this um, 18. All right, and there you see the change for Lila. All right, 